Um, so Amy is a very principled person. Uh, one of the things that she feels passionate about uh, is diversity in the workplace. I think it's an element uh, that, uh, that she brings that uh, we can always improve upon, uh, even uh, at X. Google X, or now formerly Google, now it's just X, is an, essentially an innovation lab where we have multiple early stage R&D projects that are trying to do something good for the world on the one hand, but we also want to turn it to real businesses. Amy has developed great relationships with everybody on the X team. She works really closely with us. She moves very, very quickly when a need is identified. It's incredible how well networked she is. What her superpower is, is this it's, it's a matchmaking process, but it's also just knowing, understanding what you actually really want. So when we tell her, for instance, um, what kind of person we might have in mind, she will really get out of us like what we, what we really want as opposed to what we're telling her. The more that um, technology proliferates everything we do, the ability to communicate around that technology becomes more important than ever. And the ability to understand it and synthesize information and build relationships, all these things that technology does for us now. I would say the kind of the highlights of Amy is that she's you know, tenacious, she's bold, she's not afraid to push back or speak her mind or just really get in there and stalk people and get things done in the most positive way possible. She really uh, is a valuable member of the Dean's Advisory Board. Advising me, the faculty of the school, uh, about strategic directions uh, of the future of our SIBA and as well curriculum and program issues so that our students have relevant uh, you know, working uh, knowledge about the profession that they get into. Well, of course, you can always see Amy sitting courtside supporting Yale Athletics as a former student athlete herself. But her connection to St. Mary's goes way deeper than that. I've been really impressed to see how she comes back to campus to support current students through talking on leadership panels or recruiting students um, to come work with her as well, which is always great for our current students to see alumni back on campus in that way. Uh, also, she's a part of a legacy family. She followed in her dad's footsteps to come here to St. Mary's and sent her own children here as well. Uh, in the alumni office, we see legacy families as the greatest endorsement St. Mary's can have. I met her at a leadership talk that she was presenting and someone told me you have to meet this woman named Amy Vernetti, she's awesome and I told him about all the career kind of um, ups and downs I had and so I went up to her after and I said hi Amy, introduced myself, told her a little bit about myself and she said okay reach out to me sometime this week. So I spoke to her about um, how my career was going at the time and everything and then a month later she called me and kind of similar to Kennedy was like hey would you like to come on board? Um, so yeah, she's mentored me through, throughout my last, I don't know, few months of my career. Even when you're in the business world, when you meet Gales, it's just, there's this natural bond because you have this common understanding that, okay, we're going to treat each other with respect and we're going to be kind and we're going to be friendly and yes, we're going to get some business done, but we're also going to just do the right thing. So there's just sort of that built-in understanding. So it makes it all kind of a pleasure. One of the really exciting things about seeing Amy get this award is that she joins a small but influential group of only three alumni in the history of St. Mary's College that have won this award. So we're excited to have her join the club. We, St. Mary's is not a household name in Silicon Valley, and it should be, but it's not. And so that's just yet another role that I want to play, which is helping us understand that Silicon Valley needs liberal arts majors like now, like never before. And the, the good news is that the environment understands that. It's just that we've got to begin connecting those dots and we need to do a better job of that. Because there are, you know, we've sort of got this deluge of Cal and Stanford alums everywhere and then there's a few St. Mary's people and it, there's no reason it should be like that. And so I think little by little, we're, we're starting to build the connected tissue in Silicon Valley. and. Um, I think we have a lot to, a lot to add.